So this is uh, your second show with um, Tanya and Clemens. And for this show, you decided to use three zones. We have the like camera obscura, and then we have the um, the painting of artist in the womb, and then we have the, the kind of like natural element paintings. So how do you think of the three zones? I was definitely interested uh, in the American counterculture and even, even European counterculture and how it migrated to America um, and what happened to it. I guess the, um, the, the figures or the players within uh, mind control, American mind control, cult leaders, CIA, hypno assassins. Uh, I was interested because of how they were used or allegedly used to uh, attack the counterculture. So I also, I, I recognize my, my roots or my origins uh, within my family, my mother, my father. Uh, and I think that this image of my, my mother you know, standing naked in the doorway, the, the way that the, the film looks, the slide, uh, the slide film, the color, uh, her style of hair, uh, evokes this hippie. Not to mention her taking that. And taking the photo, yeah. Um, so I think there's a connection there. I mean, the, for myself, like kind of realizing the, the lineage that I, you know, or trying to understand where, where, where I stand in the history of American uh, resistance or counterculture, and um, I guess I guess that that image I see as an emblem. Of that. I, I'm very interested in, in in landscape painting, in nature painting, in this appreciation of, of the natural or the wild. The untouched, but I question the the role that painting has played, the, or the painter, uh, as the European, the colonial, uh, or you know the Western expansion, the, the the greater of the natural world, the person who maybe shows it as an advertisement to say, hey, you should, you know, the rest of the Europeans should move here and we can build our villages and you know, use these these resources to, 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 to grow wealthy or something like that. And so I, uh, I guess I, I saw this opportunity of not finishing these, these paintings uh, as a way to speak, uh, to, to question the history of, of, of my own practice. You know, to say like, uh, and maybe my own role, I don't know, you know, to question my own role in or to, to ask the question, can, can, uh, can painting be radical? Or could it be, you know, can painting have some sort of political uh, message? And, and could it possibly change anything? Or affect change? Or, or, or speak, to, speak to an environmentalist uh, idea beyond the, uh, you know, the greenwashing that we're experiencing? You know this idea of, green, of just like of just green technology of, of you know just changing your light bulbs or you know maybe there's somewhere uh, you know something to return to uh, that is that's pre-colonial that's pre this sort of racist exploitation of of, of people and the land and uh, you know maybe. Maybe there's something that's more important than materialism and getting more things and uh, keeping the system going, you know, you know perpetuating the, the machine or the um, you know, capitalism or industrialism. Uh, you know, can painting, can I as a painter speak to that? I guess is my question. And can painting do that? And that's as far as I've gotten, is kind of questioning painting as a, uh, as a radical medium.